Hello everyone on Take YouTubes. I know it's been a while since we've updated or since you've heard from us. Uh, we've all been kind of busy even though we've been working. And it's really not my fault, but I'll show you whose fault it is. It's that thing's fault. No matter how much attention I give it, it always needs more. And I've decided it's kind of like the girlfriend I never wanted. So I think we're going to have to teach it a lesson. I hereby sacrifice this Xbox 360 to the gods of Dreamcast. Now where were we? <clears throat> Alrighty, this movie is not going to be an adventure of any sort. Because Shannon is moving back into the dorms of SCAD. Uh, Marcel is sick with, I don't know, he's really sick, it might be AIDS, I really don't know. Uh, Peter is, well, he's Peter, I have no idea what he's doing, I guess he can't do anything. So you're going to be stuck looking at this ugly face, and I couldn't justify that as being an adventure. But I felt obligated to provide an update to what we've been doing, as we really have been working we just haven't really gotten a chance to all get together and make another video uh, before class and school starts tomorrow. And I start a new job, and that, that's going to blow. But, yeah, so I thought I'd show you what we have been doing since the last video before my job starts. Alrighty, here's something we've been working on. Um, you might find it interesting. Right now, this is just a uh, demo running on Dreamcast. Um, it's a particle system that we're going to be using in the game. And I hate to record things from the screen like this, but hopefully my new monitor won't look that bad. Um, this is actually the only thing I've ever released, this demo. Well, this is an updated version running on Dreamcast. And... Um, it's a particle system where you can, well, it creates particles. You can use these particles for anything like uh, water effects or, well, I'll show you. See, the, the frame rate on Dreamcast is a bit crappy because uh, I made this a few years ago, and when I did, I don't know why, but I made every particle dynamically allocated. So, uh, every particle you see on screen there is actually being allocated as it's being created, which was a stupid idea. And I could probably get double that amount, uh, in the actual game without any slowdown, because I'm not, I'm not going to be dynamically allocating that. Um, obviously the particles aren't going to be looking like that in the game. Um, let's see, you up the blue, lower red green, and then you have blue particles, I don't know, you could use it for water, well I mean you would, you would lower the intensity quite a bit, uh, let's move this, the focus around, like, uh, hold up, Alrighty, so all I've done is uh, set the intensity back down to uh, uh, normal levels so I can show you uh, more practical uses. Like, for example, if we uh, implemented it into the battle system, uh, this could be blood, like getting hit by an enemy. We could show blood spurting from your character. Or if we lower the intensity to, uh, I don't know, no... Let's see. There. That could be blood dripping from your character. Like as you walk, we could have the character bleeding. Like that. Or, um... Alright, now you change the color back to blue. Right here. And there you have trickling water or something. You see what I'm saying? You can pretty much make uh, anything with these. And, um... 
Yeah, it uh, adds nice special effects to games, and I think it would be kind of impressive to implement this into our game. Uh, you can do stuff like, let's see, that exact same effect could be, now uh, where's that color? I'm trying to make, okay, yellow, there, there, that's sand running from a pyramid or something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be adding this in the next few days or week or something, and I'll show you when it's actually in the game. It should run quite a bit better than this because, like I said, these are all being dynamically allocated by the Dreamcast. And because I made this demo, I don't know, like a year or two ago, and I guess it was at the height of my uh, programming stupidity, and <laughs> I know not to do that now. So yeah, that's about it for today. Um, this is my last day of break. You can see how excited I am to start work in school tomorrow. It's about 3 in the afternoon and I just got up. Um, I gotta work at 8. Oh, one more thing. Um, I've been getting lots of requests to explain stuff to people like, um, well I'm not I mean, people have been wanting to know, like, more in depth how things work, like the items, the physics, uh, certain aspects of the game. And uh, what I've been wanting to do is maybe compile, like, a request together and make sort of a, a movie, not so much showing off what we've done as much as explaining how what we've done works. So you guys can go off and make your own games, or I don't know, maybe it'll help you somehow. So if... If you're interested in seeing something like that within, like, the next week or something, or next few days, like a video explaining how things work, uh, if you would, uh, leave comments down there, uh, or PM me or something, then I can see if, uh, your requests can be in the video. Um, due to time constraints, I'm gonna have to assume that everybody already knows how to program. I know that's a pretty big assumption, but... Uh, I feel like uh, my time would be better spent explaining how things work in game development rather than just general programming because there's bookstores, the internet for things like that. So I'm going to have to limit it to specific things like how do you do this or how does this work rather than uh, how would I do this in code, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you're interested in something like that, just comment. Uh Hopefully next week we will have a real adventurous movie of some sort when Marcel gets better and when Peter comes over. I gotta go do something. <laughs>